Welcome to our channel www.news.co.id Hello, what's up guys? Great to be again in new CNC channel. Okay, how are you today? I hope you are fine in there uh, because in this video part 4 we will to code uh, how we can uh, back and next to playing audio file in our mp3 player project okay let's do that first we need to open our project okay uh, while watching this video you can uh, take a cup of coffee guys <laughs> just enjoy okay i will uh, previous version here uh, in the video part 3 we just or we has been uh, code how to play stop and resume I will uh, like this now uh, in this uh, part 4 for our mp3 player project we need to code uh, back in the next button uh, if we are playing for example in the number three then if we click back here we will uh, bring to number two and number one if uh, less than one we will show the message box uh, almost uh, the same with uh, the back button the next is how we are clicking in the next button the playlist or the audio we play is uh, plus one like this uh, in the number five to six seven and until eight for example in here if more than eight we will try to show the message box how to do that let's uh, do it now uh, first we need to double click or you can click here and then you can double click in the click even button for button backs here Okay. Before we could uh, the back button, we need to uh, adding some variable uh, in here. Outpost, for example, I a string. This is for audio uh, position, guys. So uh, I say outpost here. Okay. I choose a string here. Then uh, I will make sub for audio position this uh, tell the programs uh, where is the position uh, audio play in the real time okay i will give the output here is equal to uh, to this box selected uh, item okay. I'm not uh, selected index I mean like this okay and the backs uh, button click we will try to uh, stop first before uh, play the audio with new uh, location or selected index key I will give uh, some describe here consoles the stop this will uh, make the X Windows media play one to stop uh, okay uh, let's try to using conditional statement because we just stop uh, that's being playing so we can use conditional statement like this guys if me no. this block playlist dot selected uh, index is less than equal to zero then uh, 
we will show the basic block for example here okay the song above selected like this for example and then uh, we can use uh, VBCR off to uh, make new line like this and just give the user information for please select uh, another song for example Okay, uh, for music box uh, information for the style, uh, we can just change to information like this and give the title no song selected. No song selected like this. Okay, guys, then uh, if the condition is more than zero then uh, because this is equal to uh, less than first song guys because less than first song is nothing song so we just show the information if if user uh, nothing selected uh, audio file in here okay then for else we need to get new index here and then because we stop here then we can make a new conditional statement for example if me dot ax windows media play one dot play state for uh, vmp for vmp lib uh, the vmp please state here uh, vmp please state dot vmp stop then because uh, we first in here make the audio that being play is stop so we can using conditional statement like this guys if we empty split state uh, stop then uh, we just me the block playlist dot selected uh, index equal to outpost outpost then we go to decrement one here like this then i will give uh, information if in here we will play with using new index guys new index uh, then let execute with x windows media play one dot url we will play uh, uh, that with a uh, new selected index by user uh, we will play with c type like this okay uh, me dot is block is block playlist dot selected item dot selected item for mp3 song mp3 song dot full name like on play in the previous video guys you can uh, see for playing uh, the audio file so uh, we give new information about uh, audio position oh we will not better try to don't show this okay like this for button back i will explain in for short guys in here you can see this conditional statement if x windows media play one dot play state while the condition is stopped because we stop in first statement here then uh, we will try to make uh, this book one dot selected index value is outpost the outpost you can see here 
is equal to me.listbox.playlist.selectedIndex okay while playing uh, we will uh, execute this later I will show later okay now uh, outpost is minus one it's it's mean uh, that user press uh, button back the outpost will uh, decrement one in here then uh, before we try to test we need to uh, button play click even and then adding uh, audio position here audio uh, position index like this then uh, execute the audio position sub okay audio position sub is here guys while user click button play we will get the outpost uh, variable in here that let's start uh, if we play that uh, press button it will bring to play uh, the previous uh, audio file okay let's try for example I will play the number six uh, audio file in here let's play okay then uh, we can choose button back here forget to adding uh, this will make a new audio position value position value because in bt back or in button back we will uh, we play again so we need to change or get new audio position value for audio position okay. like this guys let's try to run it again and hope this works let's play in number 8 for example Less than one, you can see here. <laughs> Not so songs like that. I'm sorry, the song was. I mean, it's no song. Not so song. Mm, sorry. Okay, uh, it works. Uh, let's uh, do again. Okay. okay. If I press no song selected. And it works now for button next. Let's go to button next. It's very similar with button backs, but we will change the bit into the code. I double click in bit button next and just copying this guys. For example here. And then paste. Okay. This is the same, but I will change first for uh message block because I'm sorry it's pressed because uh, this is for the next so uh, we give uh, the information is based on the last song so this is not above but we can change to below like this and what the change again this is guys if me dot list block playlist dot selected index this is more than it's more than I will not using zero but we will uh, using this label because this is counting uh, the sum of playlist or the total playlist in here just see the name that uh, LBL count in here okay you can see now uh, let's make in here 
if more than LDL count dot text is I will uh, minus two guys in here I will explain later I'm using found value because uh, I have minus in here and then for outpost is plus one not minus again okay because this is increment one why uh, I'm using lbl count dot text minus two first I will uh, start you can see this is uh, the eight and the number but while we are playing actually while we are playing the value of out position is zero and then if uh, we play in here actually is zero index is ignored so we uh, get uh, the total is uh, minus two in here i'm sorry if i might explain very very difficult to understand but uh, i hope uh, if you are trying to explore the code you will uh, knowing what i say okay let's start and try to see the button next is work or not i will play in here selected okay you can see no song above selected no song below selected 